We've known each other since we were kids. We used to play, to travel, to fight, to heal, to dream, and to grow together. To pretend we were superheroes. Adrian! To pretend we were adults. That's how we spent happy years before the support each one of us needed. In the cheerful moments. In the sad ones, too. Missing, Emily aggressed. When he left, he took a piece of me. I did not only lose my best friend, but my first love ever. That day was the last time we saw each other. Thanks to my diary, which I still have, I haven't forgotten him. Dear diary, this is my best friend Adrian. <laughs> also, I can still remember almost everything we used to do together. Since then, ten years have passed, but I'm still hoping to find him. Maybe I should just let it go for a while and trust my destiny. After all, it's just like they say, the best things happen unexpectedly. A short while after leaving the subway... <laughs> Ouch! Hey! Th thank you, I'm kinda clumsy, so... It's not a good idea to listen to music while going up the stairs. It's easier to get distracted and fall. You're right, especially if you have your head in the clouds like me. Okay then, gotta go now, so take care. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> it seems you've twisted your ankle. Marinette, you may be right again. Wait a sec, someone's calling me non-stop. Dad, voice messages. Voice message, you have one missed call. You have three missed calls. Where are you? Late, getting late now. Of course it's him, who else would it be? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. My house is not far from here. No way I'll leave you like that here. I can help you get to the taxi. Y you can lean on me if you want to. Thank you so much. It's hard to find someone who's not in a hurry. So you stopping by to help me? A complete stranger means a lot to me. Uh, of course. By the way, can I ask your name? Sh sure, I'm a... Adrian Agrest. He's a new student. He's not from here and he doesn't seem very sociable either. He does every single thing his father wants and it seems that friendships are also not allowed. His mother was from that group of doctors who disappeared ten years ago. I think his father is afraid that he might disappear too, even though he's already practically invisible. I'm sorry, but I really have to go now. Wait, you didn't even tell me your name. He said a... Adam? Aiden? Aaron? Could it be? Adrian? N no way. It's been ten years since I last wrote something in the diary. In other words, ten years since I last saw him. That's why I've been thinking a lot about him recently. You might be thinking, how can you not remember your first and best friend's face if he was so special to you? I was very young, so my memories from that time were not trustworthy. All I have to keep him alive in my mind and heart are my old drawings in the diary, which aren't reliable sources either. Also, every time I ask my parents about him, they avoid answering me. It looks like something happened between Adrian's father and them. Du Pain Cheng That Chinese food restaurant over there is ours, and it's very popular here. This flower shop is also ours. I worked there part-time with my mom. Today was my day off. Hey mom, I'm back. Mari, how was it at the gym? Fine, I'll go get some rest. Some time later. Adrian, my sweet Adrian, are you out there? A lot has changed since then, but do you think about me too? I still see you everywhere. You used to be so happy. If there was any chance of us seeing each other again, please give me a sign. Uh, watch out! Huh? 